everybody, and welcome back to the non-league adventure with me, GW365, playing as Easley FC in the Skybet League One. We, if you look over here on the left-hand side, you can see we're doing very, very well. I will get into those games very shortly. Just quickly, just noting our best passer is our goalkeeper, apparently. 85% um, passing completion. That's very, very good. Regan Charles Cup with the most assists. Don't forget, he got three in one game. Uh, Rye Brewers got off to a fairly decent start, 7-0. But if we're going to the recent games, last time he joined us with a home loss against uh, Cambridge. Since then, it's been plain sailing. Uh, no goals conceded, six goals scored, um, three wins. Um, very, very good. So as you can see at the minute, uh, since the Luton game, well, pretty much since the first game of the season, we've only lost one game in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games. Um, and one of them was the uh, Johnson's Paint. Uh, we do have a double barrel game today, Notts County and then Newport County, both counties, I suppose. Um, first, it's going to be the Notts County game. And Notts, Notts County are 19th in the league at the minute, haven't got off to the best of starts. Uh, they got promoted into this division this season before us. Uh, we did avoid them last time out. And it's, I believe, the play. Oh no, it was Ellisley. Ellisley is a former player, I think he's still there actually. Let me just go back a second and look at their players. Ellerslie, yeah, he's still there. He played for us in the Venerama National League and did very well for us. Good to his history. There we are. So he's still there. I think he was. I thought he was out of contract, but it's actually this year he's out of contract. Um, not that we're going to be go going pulling out all the stops to get him because now he's only seen as a three-star potential. Um, with us so far, if you have a quick look at uh, our form for the season, Jake Zantala is, is the top performer so far. Uh, he didn't play as many games as what I thought last season uh, it, he would have done. Um, it was mainly because of Walsh's um, form. But this season, Walsh has played, had four games, one sub, sub appearance, and he's only got a 7.32 average rating, which is not bad at all. Uh, however, it's nowhere near to the same standard as Jake Zantala, who's like, really fulfilling his captain's role really well. With Josh Murray, the vice captain, the second best performer of eight games. Uh, Tommy Buckle got the Young Player of the Month, I think, twice in a row. Uh, he's had a really good start. Nine appearances, four goals. Uh, for some reason, the assists are on here. I need to adapt that somehow. If we're going to the top scorers, I'm going to say the other top, other decent performers have been Powell. Uh, Ackle Wright's done very well at centre-back. And Regan Charles Cook has done really well in his short, short spell at the club so far. Um, Quite a lot of people doing all right. Nad Adil Nabe, unfortunately, injured for six to seven weeks, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, but yeah, some really good performances so far. If we're going into the goals first, uh, as you can see, Roy Brewer has got seven. And then Buckles chipped in with four, as has Nabe with Callum Saunders and Aidan White getting a couple of goals each and a couple of ones here and there, including Bate, who's like the fourth choice striker this season. He still looks very good uh, on paper, though. Um, into assists so far. Uh, Regan Charles Cup with four, Callum Saunders has got three, as has Powell, uh, and then Buckle, Nabby, White, Hezenthaler and Murray have all got two each, with Dennis Skidmore picking up the one in his four appearances. So, going into the game, we're going to be starting with uh, this team here, I've already selected it, having to leave off Skidmore again, because of the uh, the substitutes, because Adel Nabby is up out it means Johnny Bates coming into the substitutes bench which means that Skidmore has to miss out unfortunately uh, so we're going for a back five of Yeskaline and in goal with Murray Clark Salter right and white at the back uh, midfield for our quartet of Buckle, Powell, Hesenthal and Liddell they're the, uh, the top performers I think this season in their respective roles uh, with Saunders and Brewer uh, starting up front. We have got the Johnson's paint game in three days time so the likes of Regan Charles Cook he'll be he'll be starting most likely as will Liam Walsh unless obviously injuries occur. Jack, will, Jack Senior will probably get a game as well as will Gerardo Martin. It's a pretty strong bench if you ask me minus the uh, goalkeeper Derek Wilson. Derek Wilson is not good at all. That's his stats. It's just I'd, I'd rather have Jack Webb on the bench which I, I, honestly I need to do this um, but yeah, he's um, it's another low knee, and I can't have him on the bench, uh, so I'm having to have the, the terrible one on the bench instead. But this is the team I'm going to go with. Um, I'm hoping for a decent result here. We've been a, in a rich vein of form. We found ourselves in fourth, only four points off the top, which is Wickham. Look at Wrexham, the team that came up um, in second. Was it them that finished second? Well, Hartlepool finished second. Wrexham came up in the playoffs, and they're doing better than us. 
albeit by one result. But uh, yeah, it'll be a tough game when we come, finally come to to play them. We are the favourites for today's game. I mean, they are 19th after all. Jake Clark Salter did actually get sent off in one of the games, which meant that I didn't have a. I only had Ackle right as a centre back because uh, McCarthy is injured for four week. Uh, the other guy went out on loan literally the day before, um, just for a month, and then. I moved Josh Murray into the middle because he's one, eight, one meter eighty four, so he's the tallest right back that I've got that can play centre back. And then obviously uh, Sean just filled in at right back and did a very good job. Um, both of them did in their respective roles. But it's back to normal now. Clark Salter comes back in. It's a corner. Powell swings it in. Oh, it's won by uh, Akil Wright there against Ellerslie. He's got a tough job. He used to play alongside him. A tough job marking him. Powell with another corner. Wright wins it again, but he's. Managed to control it out of play, unfortunately. He did score recently, did Ackill right, actually. Long ball played in towards Collins, but it's too close to Jeskalainen, and he gratefully collects it. Now it's Aidan White, plays it down the line to Buckle. He's got pace to burn, but nothing really much else, but it seems to pop up him with his five finishing scores for fun. Liddell chips it over to Potts, a great ball. Powell chuck crosses over towards that man, Buckle, and he's there again with his five finishing. Great finish from the, uh, the young winger, the flying winger. His technicals do need to incre increase quite a lot because, as you can see, if I just highlight his uh, his stats, you know, first touch is pretty good, crossing's good, technique's good, everything else is bad, basically. Dribbling's only nine as well, which is very much mediocre. Been a long time since the highlights, a long throw for Notts County. Ellis loses out in the air, though. Adams has got it, and now I, I can't even pronounce his name, but Baldock. George Baldock gets away from for Maiden White, and that's a goal for Collins. Gets by his man, a nice little turn of pace, chips it in. Unmarked in the middle, Collins. Akil right a bit out of position there. And it's 1 1. But here is there an instant reply here. Ball goes wide to Hesenthaler. Brewer in the middle, looking for options. Plays a lovely ball to Buckle, but he's not really in a shooting position. Chips it across for Powell. It's not down, and Hesenthaler. Can he finish? Oh, what a strike from Hesenthaler! Captain's performance cometh the man, cometh the hour, whatever that saying is. And that's a, gr a cracking goal. First goal of the season for Hesenthal. He doesn't score many, but when he does, they're generally pretty damn awesome. Cleared away, brought down perfectly there, and then boom. Keeper's handling, or his arm positioning is definitely questionable, but uh, we don't care because it's 2 1 to, to Eastley and it's much deserved. I'm just going to tell the rest of them that I've got faith. Didn't really get much of a response from the ones that weren't green, but never mind. Second half is underway. Clark Harris knocks it wide back to the centre back. Pansevecchia. Pansevecchia? I think that's probably how you say it. Murray with a little throw deep in the Notts County half. Saunders in the position maybe to cross in. Powell does the rest. Buckley is there again, and that's what he's been like. He's just in the right place at the right time. Proper poacher from the wing. So the ball is thrown in, Saunders holds it up well, lays it off to Powell, first time ball, and there is an acres, four defenders in the line there, just completely in no man's land, and Buckle there, wheeling away, with absolute joy and delight. Panzervecchia has fouled Hezentalo, who apparently has taken a dive, yellow card for that man, probably just call him Billy, right with the resulting free kick, plays it to White, now it's Hezentalo. Into field, it goes to Liddell, chips it over towards Buckle. It's a poor header. Oh, and it's a great finish from Saunders. Ellerslie couldn't stop him. It was initially a bad bat pass header or whatever from Richards, and Saunders made him pay. It's 4 1. Great ball in by Liddell, chips it through for Buckle. Richards had to deal with it, it was a very poor header, but Saunders, first time on his left peg, smashes it home past the keep, despairing keeper. Right, with 20 minutes to go, we are going to make a change. Um, Regan C Charles Cook is probably going to come on for uh, Liddell has been impressive again with his key passing J so Josh Murray has actually picked up a yellow card so with that in mind I'm actually going to take him off and bring on Sean Jess for 10 minutes so Gerardo Martin's going to come on for 10 minutes or so uh, for Andrew Powell saving for the next game perhaps because I think the Johnson's Pate Trophy is probably something we could win uh, with how we're playing at the minute I mean we are in the top division for that's eligible for it, as we should be going 5-1 in front, but unfortunately Gerardo's missed an open net. Uh, and there's a full-time whistle anyway, and that's a great result. Well done, lads. That was a very good win for us. They're loving that. That leaves us at the minute in uh, twenty in third place with 23 points. Three points off Bradford City. 
the top team in this league at the minute. We have leapfrogged Wrexham, who look like they've finally lost. Uh, they lost 3-0 against that team, Bradford. So it looks like Bradford are, are going to be a tough task. But hopefully you're going to join us for the next game, which is against Newport County. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. Adam King, our centre-back, has gone on loan for a month. Uh, has ended up getting injured for 7-9 week, which is a bit of a pain in the dick. Uh, but never mind. Right, so this is a team we're going to be using to play against Newport County in the Johnson's Pit Trophy. First, first of all, I'm making sure I've got a goalkeeper on the bench because I don't want to throw away uh, our chances purely for not having a goalkeeper on the bench and say Willie Eskeline and getting injured, who is improving all the time, by the way. That I think that's a false reading for potential because he's class. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're going to start off with Eskeline in goal with a back four of Jeffs. Murray's going to play that centre back role purely to give um, Jake Clark Salter. Uh, a bit of a rest because he's on 91% uh, fitness as opposed to Murray's eight, um, 94 and he's, he's done alright there in a the covering role. Wright is going to play alongside him with Senior playing um, left back. Aidan White does miss out this, this game because I'm trying to make sure I've got a goalkeeper on the bench. Uh, we're going to have a midfield quartet of Skidmore on the left, Gerardo on the right with Charles Cook as a ball winning midfielder and Walsh retaining his place uh, as a right roaming playmaker. Up front we're going to have Saunders and Bate, the uh, the combination from last season, um, thanks to Adil Nabi's injury. Uh, obviously Adam King got picked up, touched on that briefly. Jake McCarthy's nearly back, he's three days away, um, and they're the only real meaningful absentees. Um, Aidan White's the one who misses out, was probably the most important out of everyone else. Well, he is the most important out of everyone else, obviously, he was not injured. Um, yeah, so that's how we're going to go go into it. Newport County, worth noting, are twentieth in the League Two. So, and apparently, it wanted me to focus on uh, defensive positioning. They must be scoring loads of goals, been in twentieth place, but never mind. Uh, they did actually get relegated from League One last season, so that's probably one of the reasons why. Uh, their key player is Matt Macy. He does look fairly handy as a goalkeeper, um, and maybe he's going to be tough to beat. Uh, he's that th he's a three-star goalkeeper, which is you know. It's Pretty, pretty damn good actually but uh, yeah I'm hopeful we can get through to the next round let's see if we can make that a reality carry on where we finished last time because we did play very well and then the rest of it is pretty much straightforward I just realised I didn't um, put anything to do relaxed for Josh Murray who's playing at centre back which he's probably a little bit worried about that is the worst kick off I've ever seen he just passed it straight to us there you go have the ball and then we did even worse and just booted it away so first highlight of the game comes 10 minutes in and Jenkins has got the ball he finds Samuelson uh, that's a great ball to Das and it's a great block and save combination there from I want to say Jeffs 18 is Jeffs so yeah Walsh wins the header but then Errington beats Bate in the air Walsh retrieves it and now it's Charles Cook plays a lovely ball wide right to Gerardo crosses into for, for Bate but Skidmore is there actually I actually thought the chance had gone but Skidmore gets in on the, on the end of that loose ball. Gerardo picking up that awesome ball. Bates should have done better. To be fair, very good save from Macy. Got it on target. That's the first rule in, in the striker's like, life of learning. And that is make sure you make the keeper work. It's a free kick. Raul plays it into Casey. Jessica Linen, grateful it was straight at him. Plays it down the line to Gerardo. A bit of a loose ball, but it's got it under control. Plays it down the line for Saunders. Saunders is in behind, sort of. He's got... One or two options in the box now. He loses it to Adebayo. Comes out to Jeffs, the clearance. Plays it inside to Charles Cook. Finds Geraldo. Looking for options. He finds Saunders. Nice little turn. Bait is there. Can he make it two? He can. It's 2 0. And Newport County in all sorts of trouble now. They are at home. They have slightly edged the chances, but they haven't made any of them pay. Geraldo had it. Nice little layoff. Saunders, 1 2. Well, not 1 2, but a short little pass with Bait. To bait even. Great finish. Powers it home. Bottom right hand corner. Another highlight here. Samuelson intercepts the ball. Wilson feeds in case. He cases one on one with with Yaskalainen. Yaskalainen is awesome at well he's not awesome, but he's he's pretty good at one on one situations and he shows why right there. Raul with the resulting corner and the header clips the bar and goes over. Fortunately for Easley. So another chance here. Murray with the throw. Finds Saunders. Plays it off to Walsh. Samuelson can get it away. Wright wins a header though. Senior. Walsh again. Feeds bait. Can he find Saunders? He does. Saunders with a chance here. He's put it wide. And you just wonder how costly that might be. It is 2-0. It's never a, 
a decent scoreline this. It's one I'm not really fond of. Walsh with a corner. Swings it in. Towards Murray. It's headed away. Bate collects it at the edge of the area. Looking for an option or two. He finds Charles Cook. Decent little ball to Saunders. And he's put it away to make it three. Just before half time. It's a great finish. Great little bit of play. And there's another bit of evidence why Charles Cook has been such a, a good addition to this squad this season. Bate gets it here. Finds Charles Cook who just... Look at that defence splitting pass. Takes four players out of the game there. Saunders absolutely shattered for some reason, but he's got enough en energy to swing that left peg of his and put it into the bottom right hand corner. And on that, Saunders will probably make way for, even though no, he's not on the hat trick, for Roy Brewer. Very pleased with the performance. I mean, they all love that. I'm just going to leave it at that. He used to get the game underway, the second half underway, should I say. Geraldo's got it on this right side. It's probably a false highlight. We all know it probably will be. There's a chance here maybe for Newport County. Ball's played in. Samuelson scores from Raul. No one trapped the run of Samuelson. And he's actually he's like the youngest looking player you've ever seen. But I've seen him play on the, on the TV. He does look actually a decent player. Uh, up and coming perhaps. But he should have been trapped there. Very poor defending. Keeper not really much chance. Although he will be disappointed to be beaten at his near post. Free kick now. Charles Cook loses out in the air from the Walsh free kick. Brewer squares it for Senior. He's got a few goals last season. He's just hit the bar. Great effort from him. Another chance perhaps for Newport. Another free kick. Jenkins. White to Dehane. Plays it to Raul. Closed down well by Charles Cook, but it's played into Austin. Bit of napping there from Jeffs. And Yaskalainen saves the day. And then there's a, a block shot from... Well, Murray got in the way of the shot and it's gone out for a corner. Austin with that resulting corner. Adebayo. Losers out to Murray in the air. Some changes are going to be made because we're starting to get overrun somewhat. Let's get Hezenthaler, the captain, onto the field. Bit of a pain in the ass where the captain doesn't go. It doesn't go straight to Hezenthaler. Only if I take Josh Murray off, will that happen? We'll make another change here. Not nothing's happened since. I probably will take Josh Murray off now for Clark Salter just to give him a rest. I suppose Ackleright will be okay. It looks like that's going to be it. Free kick played in towards bait. It's gone straight past everyone. Clack Salter on the end of it. That'll be the last contribution to the game. And now it is 3-1. Another good win, boys. Well done. Right, so uh, I wanted to end this episode with the quarter-final draw, which is the minimum expectation we wanted for the Johnson's Pate Trophy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this draw, and then we'll probably wrap up the video after that. So there's only Coventry, Ebbsfleet, Luton, Plymouth, Selves, Gillingham, Millwall, and Yeovil left to draw. Out of them, who would you probably want? Edgefleet sticking out to me. One team we probably don't want is Plymouth because they've beaten us twice already this season. So let's go ahead and see who we get. Coventry is another one. They're, they're actually in League 2. And that's who we've got. Plymouth, Gillingham, Millwall, Edgefleet, uh, Luton uh, have Yeovil. Yeovil would have been another decent option as well. But we did get one of the League 2 sides. Coventry obviously aren't going to be any pushover. Uh, but uh, never mind. So... For the next game, next game actually is against bottom of the league, so I'm hoping for big things there. It's been another decent video here in terms of results, uh, a lot of goals, not many conceded, positive results. Um, the next game we're probably going to do, by the way, I've just realised as well, peace of mind if you've got to the end of here. I'm very sorry, I completely forgot about Carlisle, um, unfortunately for you, we beat them pretty much with 10 men as well. Um, well, we went 2-0 up, went down to 10 men with about 30 minutes to go, I could write scored while we had 10 men, uh, but yes. Um, I did see it afterwards, after the Hartlepool game and Cambridge game, and I thought, oh, I could have done Carlisle. So I do apologise on your behalf, but next time we have Carlisle, I'll try and see if we can implement it somehow. I might do the Leighton Orient Carlisle game when it gets to there, because we have played Cambridge already. Um, so yeah, next game though, it's probably going to be this one here. If I would imagine that's going to be the FA Cup. So it would probably be FA Cup, but and then uh, the... Johnson's Pate Trophy. If not that, if it's put back for whatever reason, like a uh, match called off, probably do Coventry Peterborough. Uh, but yeah, otherwise it's going to be those two there. Hopefully you're going to join us for that. But first of all, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and press that like button. Uh, if you'd like to let us know what I can do to improve, um, let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to subscribe to keep up to date with this series, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. Until next time, I will see you then. Bye bye.